I'm Tim Barkley with Charleston Home and Design Magazine, and today we're talking with Melinda Welch with First Class Painting and Restoration. How are you doing, Melinda? Hi, doing great. Thank you. Good, good. Well, today, uh, Melinda, you have invited us out to Kiowa Island to a uh, to a home that uh, that First Class Painting and Restoration was involved with finishing out a a, a workroom and and kind of transitioning that workroom into uh, into a usable artist uh, studio. Is that right? That is correct. That is correct. Well, good deal. And uh, kind of the, one of the interesting things about about this project is, uh, you know, as as I mentioned before, uh, your company is first class painting and restoration, and and so immediately everyone thinks, okay, you're a painting contractor. But in fact, uh, and, and as we're going to illustrate here today, uh, first class painting and restoration is a painting contractor, but you do much more than that. Can you kind of uh, just just give us a, a brief rundown of of what uh, uh, first class painting and restoration is all about and then then we'll get into the specifics of this project okay sure um, we do a lot of different things uh, painting is something that we're known for most uh, but we do finish carpentry we lay tile uh, we do a lot of uh, cabinetry work we refinish cabinets as well as glazing of cabinets sheetrock work electrical work uh, pretty much your one one-stop shop mm -hmm. so gotcha and uh, and you know, people always think, and and uh, and it is definitely painting is a is a, a do-it-yourself kind of thing that that some people do do attempt. And uh, uh, but it, the painting itself is actually pretty easy. It's all the prep work that that is um, is the challenging part. And especially um, if you're working on a house that might have some some issues with uh, termite damage or rot or this or that uh, before you you can actually put that finished coat of paint on there there's there's quite a bit of work and preparation that goes into that right absolutely absolutely um, 90 percent of a paint job and how the results are going to be is based on how well the prep is done so uh, we like to ensure a nice thorough job in prepping so that the canvas is beautiful when it's done Right, and if uh, and if homeowners uh, do decide to tackle a, a project uh, by themselves, and they they don't put in the time and effort to prep that that area, uh, it's kind of garbage in, garbage out. They're they're putting a, a you know beautiful paint over over something that's not going to really last all that well. That's correct. Uh, you have to be very cautious about uh, painting whenever you do decide. Uh, there's many different aspects that people don't often think about. And uh, I would say if you are considering painting your own home, uh, at least get the advice from someone who knows a little bit about it and the types of finishing products you should be using and the prep process. Um, if you're not, just hire me. <laughs> yeah, and, and do you ever have um, uh, situations where where a homeowner has attempted to uh, to do to do the project themselves, and they they spend a few weekends doing it, and they get done, and they're just not happy with the outcome, and then they then they do call you in? Oh, sure. Uh, a lot of times we actually get phone calls in the middle of the jobs whenever they've attempted to do something and it's become overwhelming for them or they're not liking the results at the end and so then we have to come in and it's harder for us actually because um, then we have a lot of things that we have to undo in order to get right so um, the best thing to do is just call it professional yeah do it do it once do it do it right the first time okay well let's let's kind of talk let's transition now and talk about this specific project and uh, uh, in our, in our pre-interview you you mentioned that in addition to all of the painting uh, first class painting and restoration also was responsible for the interior trim carpentry throughout and we're going to be um, I'm going to have you show us some examples of that in a, in a second uh, all of the tile work and we have tile on the floor and, and on the walls here. Uh, you, uh, first class painting and restoration also installed um, all of the lighting here and uh, so quite a quite a bit other than just painting on, on this project, right? Uh, yes, this was actually a unfinished storage space and we wanted to make it a usable art studio for the client and the homeowner and so we had a lot of work to do when we walked on site. 
And as you're watching this video, you, you're probably noticing some of the beautiful artwork. Uh, uh, we've got some 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 jewelry that the that the artist slash homeowner uh, created here in her studio, and then uh, we've got some other interesting uh, items here that. And we're going to be talking to the homeowner here in a few minutes and have her tell us about her artwork and and also get her take on how the project went. But uh, but first, let's uh, Melinda. Why don't you go ahead and kind of give us a rundown of of what uh, uh, what first class painting and restoration was responsible for here? Okay, sure. Um, we have basically taken this space and finished it off, and we started by uh, kind of going over a couple visual ideas. Um, Miss Buffy, the homeowner, is an artist and had wonderful ideas about the way that she wanted this space to look. And uh, so we kind of took her visions of grandeur and made it to be. Uh, we finished the ceiling and uh, we put trim and all the electrical that you see in. Um, we also took a uh, special time to put the trim up on the top where you see above the tile here mm -hmm. and all around in order to bring a little bit of extra um, something to the room. We have... And I noticed that you, you, um, you or the homeowner, you d didn't go overboard on this because this is a, a workspace. It's, a, it's an artist studio, so it might not have been appropriate to put, you know, fancy crown molding in here or something. Oh, no. Well, um, I know she wants her art to stand out as being the main focus of what's in here. And so that was also important. We didn't want to do anything too overboard. She had a vision in mind, and we wanted to stay with that vision. Um, we also painted... Um, all the rooms that you see, all the beadboard, the walls, the ceiling. Um, we added a little bit of extra stuff that she needed in order to make this a usable space. These cabinets right here were just boxes. And so we created the doors for her and uh, refinished the top of this also. It was very dull and it needed a, a nice sanding and a couple coats of poly to bring it to life. Um, we also did a couple of other cabinetry type uh, jobs over there. She has some cabinets that are in her workspace that she needed to hold supplies and different things so we also did those faces finished those cabinets off with paint and the same thing to that countertop and uh, this over here is one of the storage spaces that she needed um, she has Sure. Uh, she has tons of supplies, obviously, that she uses being an artist, and it was important that she find something that uh, was large enough to hold these supplies, but yet didn't take away from the room and could uh, hide a little bit of the clutter. You know, she needed to make sure that uh, everything was nice and hidden and uh, usable, important. So that's one of the things that we also did here as far as carpentry was concerned. Quite a bit of carpentry uh, went into this job. As you mentioned, um, uh, all of the all of the molding toward the ceiling and and I think you uh, mentioned in the pre-interview the the base molding and and then uh, uh, creating the, the 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 closet here the doors and everything and um, what else kind of take continue the tour okay um, also the tile that you see here is um, something that we installed and put in and uh, what was here before uh, concrete just concrete. So um, we did uh, add the tile here. Um, the beautiful mosaic tile that you see on the back of this wall was also installed by us. And this was one of her visions, one of the things that she really wanted to stand out. She picked the tile out. Um, another thing is her daughter uh, picked out all the colors that you see and helped with the selections of the tile and pretty much uh, did all of the design for this. So it was a great uh, family thing as well for her to integrate some style with her family members. Um, also, uh, there's another room that we have laid tile in also over here. This is kind of unconditioned space in here, another, another uh, uh, really nice storage slash work area here. Um, yeah, and we did lay the tile in here and we also painted um, everything that you see here as well um, to make this a little bit uh, livelier for her. So that was some of the other stuff we did as far as tile was concerned. Yeah, gives it a nice, a nice finished, a finished look here. Okay. Let's see. The bookshelves. How about these? Over here? Um, yes, we did create these bookshelves as well. That's a part of our carpentry um, on this job site as well. Uh, but you know, she did a lot of the extra touches. Um, we hung all the lighting mm -hmm. and uh, the glass shelving we put on the walls. 
pretty much just made it a nice finished workable space for her that she could feel comfortable in showcasing her work as well as working in the same space. Great. Okay. Do you um, you want to add anything else as far as what first class painting and restoration uh, provided here? Um, well, one of the things that I think we uh, provided and worked very hard to provide was also um, a good product with a good budget. Um, that was really important. We want to make sure that we meet the needs of all of our clients and we are aware that all of them have different budgets and we like to try to take their vision and make it work within the budget that they have. And so I am proud to say that we stayed on budget for this job and uh, that the homeowner was wonderful to work for. Just great. Couldn't ask for a better client. So. How long did, um, did, did the project uh, take from, from start to finish? Um, actually, I think it took somewhere in the ballpark of about six weeks. Um, six to eight weeks is what I want to say from start to finish and um, our crew worked diligently in here and um, made sure that everything was nice and clean every day before we left just keeping in mind that this is a home of someone and so we like to be courteous in that respect so yeah it was a, a great job everything went really smoothly from the very beginning to the very end and we we're very pleased with the results good were there were there any particular challenges that you had to overcome with this project um, not really. Um, there were things that were a little more difficult than others, uh, but there are things that we're used to facing in the line of work that we do. And so it, it was all pretty much smooth running from the beginning. Okay, good deal. Well, let's uh, next we're gonna we're gonna have a word with the the homeowner slash artist and uh, have her tell us about her artwork and also her experience with first class painting and restoration. Okay, great, thanks. Okay, now we're talking with, with uh, Sandy Buffy, the homeowner and artist. How are you doing, Sandy? I'm great, thanks. Well, thanks so much for inviting us into your home today. Um, why don't we start by um, having you uh, tell us a little bit about, about this beautiful artwork that we see here. Okay, well first, um, this space uh, was created uh, with everything that I needed to create jewelry and also my um, portrait busts that are made out of dryer lint. So um, I am thrilled beyond my wildest dreams of how this came out. I mean, I really didn't anticipate how beautiful it would be, and, but yet workable. So it's terrific to have a space that I could use as a showroom mm -hmm. and then have a space where I can get knee deep in dryer lint and found metal and copper pieces and gutters and things, which is what I use for my, my artwork. So um, it's, just, it's just a fantastic space, and I spend... Uh, way too much time out here, uh, unfortunately. Well, you said a couple of things that I think are going to um, um, have sparked the interest of our, our listeners, viewers, and readers. Um, dryer lint. What, 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 what do you mean when you say dryer lint? Uh, I've been working with dryer lint for about 15 years, and it's the same that you pull out of your dryer. Um, I kind of just discovered that I could sculpt with it just by accident. I was on the phone with my mom and made a little man, and, and I said, oh, i got to go. I made a man with my lint, and she called back later and said, I think you need to go back to work. She said, are you playing with your dryer lint? And uh, so from, from then on, an idea was born, and I just kind of started with small pieces and then got bigger and bigger, and then somebody asked me if I could do Frankenstein, and I said, well, sure, and I did, and mm -hmm. kind of just went from there, and now I'm making, um, I'd like to have two or three going a year. It takes about three months from start to finish, and about, uh, about 20 gallons of dryer lint per head. So I do commissioned pieces, and I do um, shows, across the country um, but then in the meantime I do uh, I have my hardware line where everything is made of found objects and hardware and it's called hardware so um, that's what all of this is I um, I am prolific to say the least I have over 300 pieces and I really needed a place where I could um, store and display my finished pieces and this is the first studio that I've been able to do that so it's not all over my dining room table and all over the kitchen counters and my husband is really happy about that mm -hmm. so these drawers that were um, that were designed uh, hold all the extra jewelry and in here uh, so it's it's just fantastic so that um, when I have friends over or um, art meetings and things everybody can see the jewelry and it's it's good for me to see what what I've made so I don't do anything that's close to it every piece, piece is unique and one of a kind and um, so I'm just kind of starting this business uh, mostly on the website and social media trying to trying to get updated but I'm kind of old to to it's very intimidating but um, I'd rather just make the jewelry but 
doing uh, selling it is pretty important too. Right, right. Well, before we, uh, <clears throat> I ask you about your experience <clears throat> with uh, first class painting and restoration. What give, why don't you give our listeners, viewers, and readers a website that they can maybe see your work at? Oh, okay, sandybuffy.com. And it's spelled out? S-A-N-D-Y-B-U-F-F-I-E dot com. Well, great, great. Well, you definitely going to want to check out the, uh, I see a, um, a head of, uh, of Jay Leno here, and then we've got the Wolf Man, and very interesting, I mean, a very intricate. Uh, Johnny Depp over here, that's, that's uh, a favorite, I'm sure. Got a little dog just sitting on the carpet. That's uh, Shaquille O'Neal's dog, Thor. So I haven't gotten a chance to send it to him. I make these things, and then I, uh, with the hopes of um, getting them to to stars, that then we'll auction them off for some kind of charity event. Charity event. So that's that's my ultimate goal with some of these pieces. Good for you. And then uh, as soon as I walked in here, I I saw that that head that, that bust over here and. Uh, instantly recognized him as George Clooney so I mean you're you're quite a talented artist oh thank you it just kind of it just kind of happens and uh, I would love Ellen DeGeneres to have that one since she has such a thing for for George but uh, yeah it's it's really fun and uh, I think it pushes me to to create a higher level of of art than uh, and I'm not a trained artist I'm a speech pathologist by by training but um, have been doing this on the side for 15 years mm -hmm. and it's really what I'm passionate about. Great, great. Well, t let's let's talk about first class painting and restoration and and let's start by having you uh tell us why why did you decide to hire first class painting and restoration to begin with? Well, I immediately had a great uh feeling when they came to look at the space. I had they were the third of three um people that I had out to to check it out and um, they immediately saw what I wanted to do with the space, even though it was completely filled with boxes. You really couldn't see anything except the floor and maybe how unfinished it was. It was really um, not a really pleasant space. And the minute I said I wanted to tile, put small glass mosaics on this whole wall, um, and Ronnie just went, oh, this is fantastic. That's going to be great. So I knew, and and then when I met Tommy, and, and it was the whole family thing, I really loved uh, I loved that, and he was very complimentary of, of his workers. And um, then you say the family thing, what are you referring to? Well, the, the mother and daughter and, and daughter-in-law, and uh, I don't really know who all is family, and, but they act like they're all family if they're not even related. But they, they really support. They work so well together that um, it was great, and they and I would have adopted any of them into my family. Mm -hmm. Kind of a family affair. A lot of family members working at at first class painting and restoration, which is uh, which is nice because you know uh, you, there's there I'm sure there's a lot of accountability there, and and uh, you uh, you definitely don't you, you'll be going home and hearing about it later if someone's not pulling their own, right? Oh, I, I imagine it'd be discussed around the. Uh, the uh, kitchen table in the night, and uh, I, I liked that whole feel. I trusted them um, immediately, and I felt like they would really stay as true to their budget as they could. And as as we went, you know, I had them um, make this tool trolley for me because I needed something that would roll on the um, the floor, and it's it's brilliant. I mean, there isn't one on the market, and they just came up with it and built it for me. And and so those kinds of things as we were going, and I would say, well, I'd, I kind of need this a little deeper or I need that and it was never an issue and they never said oh I don't think we can do that or that's going to cost more it was never an issue it was just oh okay that that's a great idea or or they came up with an idea and then they would ask me well what do you do, do you mind if we box this pole in I think it would look better and I hadn't even thought of it so um so it was they were great and they were so neat at night there wasn't there wasn't a spot anywhere even when doing all the woodwork they they would collect all their sawdust and and take it away somewhere and uh, everything was clean thoroughly thoroughly cleaned yeah I did get a bag of sawdust though for a future art piece so but I did have to ask for it um, yeah they were they were um, very neat they always worked they were on time they were considerate um, I mean they were just it was it was the most pleasant we've renovated six houses mm -hmm. And this was the most pleasant and wonderful experience of any of the, the people that we've ever worked with. Mm. And I mean, it went flawless. From, and I am shocked that it was done in six weeks because I really wanted to be in by Christmas. And 
I mean, I've been in here now for months. Mm -hmm. And so not only was it done cost in my budget and, and on time, and it was just, you know, I want to have these guys over and have dinner and, mm -hmm. you know, entertain in here and uh, just kind of be part of my family, which is really unique. I it think. is. It's noteworthy yeah. because a lot of um, homeowners have, have the experience where they're, they're maybe best friends with the contractor at the beginning of the project, but by the end they want to wring their neck. Right. Yeah. Not in this case. Right. I mean, I have, I'm just handing out their cards to everybody that I meet saying, you know, if you need anything done, this, this is the group to do it. And uh, they started right away too, which I was amazed. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was just, uh, it was first class. What can I say? <laughs> I guess that's why first class painting and restoration has that, that name then. Right. It's appropriately named. Yeah. It's, and it's a, uh, it's a high standard to live up to also to, uh, to, to have that kind of thing. And, um, I guess they're kind of putting their, their money where their, where their mouth is. Right. Right. And it's a highly competitive business. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, if you do quality work, you're going to have success. Mm -hmm. And I would, I would hire them again if I needed anything. I'm trying to think of something that I need, but I don't really need anything else at this time, but I am passing their card out, um, because it was, it was beyond a good job. Was it, um, uh, tell, tell me about the, uh, about having one company kind of, uh, do the entire project turnkey versus maybe having multiple contractors, a lighting, uh, elect electrical contractor coming in a tile contractor coming in, maybe some, uh, interior trim carpenters coming in to, and, and, uh, and, and doing the work separately. Oh, this was by far the best way to do that. I mean, it was, I didn't really realize that they could do everything with their group when we first started. I thought that they would be, you know, contracting out for the electrical or for the cabinets. And um, it wasn't until we, we got rolling that I saw the same people doing all of this. And then I saw them going over there and building that. And then they were doing the lighting. And I thought, this is, this is amazing. So um, it was so easy, and, and it, it kept everything on a timeline because they didn't have to wait for somebody to come in, depending on the other person's schedule. And the, having the capacity to lay tile, do paint, do woodwork, custom woodwork, um, electrical stuff, all, all in one group is, is amazing. I mean, and it's... And you had, had mentioned to me in the, the pre-interview that, uh, that when you bought this house, it, it, a, a builder had, had built the house and uh, had, had kind of used some leftover materials here and there in, in the space, and, uh, which, which seems to be perfectly fine with you since you're, you're kind of, uh, your art mediums that you use use a lot of recycled material and things like that. And uh, um, I noticed it. it it doesn't look like like you really went overboard on on uh, the the materials that that you you bought, but but everything looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my daughter Emily, um, she designed everything and the colors and the um, the tile and the lights and everything. And I just made a little list of of the uh, you know the skew numbers or whatever it was and gave it to Tommy. And then I didn't have to do a thing. It it just appeared magically, and here it was. So. Um, you know, I wasn't having, being responsible for really anything. And, um, so it was, it was awesome. And anything else you'd like to add? Sandy? No, just that I am super, super pleased and really excited to, um, start my jewelry business here and my sculpture business here. And, and now I have the most wonderful space to do it in. And I'm, I'm really appreciative and blessed. Terrific. Well, thank, thanks so much, Sandy. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're back with Melinda Welch with First Class Painting and Restoration, and we're just going to wrap things up. And uh, Melinda, why don't you tell everybody how they can get in touch with First Class Painting and Restoration? Okay, well, you can call us at 324-6006, or you can um, visit our website, which is paintfirstclass.biz. Okay, and, that, and is it all spelled out, paint, F-I-R-S-T? Yes, it is. Paintfirstclass.biz. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. And uh, the phone number again? Is 324-6006. Okay. Well, we have been talking with uh, Melinda Welch with First Class Painting and Restoration. And uh, uh, i got to throw in a, a, a quick plug, too. I've, I've had First Class Painting and Restoration uh, paint uh, um, my house 
before and I, I know exactly what Sandy means by the uh, the family uh, affair and and I, I think uh, your mother-in-law was up on a ladder uh, scraping or something yes um, we are a family-run company my husband is Tommy Welch who is owner of the company um, I'm co-owner and head of design with the company do a lot of FaceTime with um, all of our clients as well as managing staff and uh, his mother, my mother-in-law, Ronnie, is our estimator, and she's wonderful at what she does. She works firsthand with the clients and works very diligently to make sure they're within their budget and make sure that she um, really can bring a sense of pride um, to the accomplished work that we do. So we work as a very good team. Yeah, and, uh, and just give that, that website one more time. It's paintfirstclass.biz. Okay, good deal. Well, we've been talking with Melinda Welch, First Class Painting and Restoration. Thanks so much, Melinda. Thank you.